Hi everybody, it's Molly Tigger. I know it's been quite some time since I've done a video, but as I had stated in my last video, I was in the midst of two craft shows, um, working on some odds and ends here and there, um, not feeling well in between and just being really busy, which was good for me. I like being busy. Um, but I want to show you what I just completed. This was another project I just did. I have um, a 50th anniversary, and I made these uh, pillow box favors. I threw some uh, hardtack candies in there, and this took me a while only because in itself it wasn't hard to do, but I did not have this. It's a Stampin' Up! Um, I think it's the Large Oval Punch, and it fits these pillow boxes nicely. And, of course, I didn't have a stamp to stamp something so small into it. So my friend that has this punch uh, actually punched them out and printed this out and sent them to me. So that's how I was waiting for that to get done. Um, I'd love to get the, the Stampin' Up! punch, but it's a bit expensive for me. Um, I've been watching eBay because, I mean, I do like this on these pillow boxes. And just an FYI and sort of a review, and I don't have it with me to show you, but prior to uh, coming up with uh, printing this off on the computer, my friend had suggested purchasing a Martha Stewart custom stamp set. And what it is is all little letters and everything, and um, you can make up your own words and had different size fonts. Well, um... I got it with a 50% off coupon, and when I got it home, first of all, the letters were so tiny to try to work with to get into the th the uh, little stamp thing. And then not only that, but every time I stamped, I had a smudge on the top and below the word. I cut the rubber down even to make it just to the letter, and I continually got smudges. I mean, it just was not going to work for me, and I did literally spend hours trying to work with it. So I called Michaels and spoke with the manager, telling him that I did cut out some letters and use them, you know, only for actually for this here, Cheers to 50 Years, and uh, those were the letters and the numbers that I used. And he was kind enough and told me to just put it in a bag and bring it back. It was just not worth the money. Um, if somebody else had better luck with it, I'd love to hear about it, but I had no luck with it at all, and it was not worth the money whatsoever. So, um, as I said, my friend printed this out on the computer, and she had the stamp. So I just outlined this with the, um, the gold pen, and then these are recollection flowers. And this uh, strip of paper actually was... Uh, I guess recollections. It was a, a, uh, in the single sheet thing. And I used the um, swirls uh, and cuddle bug embossing folder. And the die was the um, Stampin' Up, I believe, pillow box die that my friend had purchased for me. Um, so, and I had to do, I made so far 26. I'm hoping I don't have to do any more. Um, it's not a huge, huge party. So I did these two boxes full. I did 26 figuring on it's two, or uh, rather one per couple. And of course, if there's uh, any single people, they'd get their own. Then I also made this anniversary card. I'm sorry for the glare. Let's see. Okay, that's better. Uh, again, I used that paper that I got from Recollections. Um, this is just uh, some bling. I think it might have been Recollections. I'm not sure. Um, somebody had sent me this, and I put this on the bow. I actually made that bow. I was really proud of myself. Um, and again, this is a die cut uh, my friend sent to me. And um, this here um, was actually on one line, and then I remembered how to mask things, although the first time I did do it wrong. Uh, but it, it came out nice. And then this is the inside. And this heart set actually was from close to my heart. I had won that set. Uh, this is the top note die in the back. And then this is labels. 
uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna say 14 but I'm not sure spellbinders I just kind of matched it up because after I cut out the top note died I thought wait a minute I don't have one smaller than that and then I had that stamp set so that's what I've been working on and I also um, I sent in some breast cancer things to Beth so I did work on that and so now maybe I can, now that the weather, not that I want it to be colder, but now that it is getting colder, I'll probably be, probably be spending more time indoors, which I don't think I'll mind. Although uh, I've not been feeling well, have a doctor's appointment on Monday, a lot of dizziness and nauseousness. Uh, my doctor is thinking something with the inner ear, so we'll check that out. So it takes me quite a while before I can even get moving in the morning because I'm so dizzy and nauseous but um, then later on in the day it seems to go away so we'll see what's going on with that so that's what I've been working on and I hope to maybe start doing some challenges and um, and do uh, absolutely do more videos thank you everybody and have a nice night